Hey guys, welcome back to another and maybe the last of the episodes of uh, the service series for the Sport V. I am going to show you right now how to put it all together. It is very, very simple. Same thing that you did, only less messy because we have already cleaned everything up. Um, the tools, I'm going to list them down in the description. I'm going to start by putting all the gears inside the transmission. So this is the, 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 uh, the input gear, which is the one that is going to control your forward. This is the reverse gear, which is the little gear, tiny one. Um, shift gear with the yoke and cam. And the dog clutch, the DOG. This is all mercury gears and uh, very, very durable. All right, so we got two important things. The, um, First of all, you do want to make sure you have your surface that you're working on. It has to be very clean. It has to be, and the reason for that is because you're dealing with bearings. Right now I have brand new sheet of um, just wrapping paper that I found. It's, there is no dust, there is no nothing. These bearings are very, just like all the bearings, they, you want to make sure that you have a very clean area because you don't want anything getting in there and scaring, scaring them or making marks or start making weird noises that, that you could have prevented by uh, um, keeping everything clean. So these little bearings, the thrust bearings, they go on the clutch part, top and bottom, right there. Now, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go and put the one inside the transmission. And um, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you on the, on the on the gear how they go in the transmission because it's the it goes the exact same way so i'm just going to lubricate it a little bit what i'm using right now is just some mercury grease it is a little thick but it is perfect for uh to start you know lubricate it before you start your engine i know you're gonna have you're gonna fill it up with six and a half quarts of oil. Um, like I said, I know you cannot see exactly what I'm doing right now. I will show you on that part. There is, right here, there is, it looks the exact same as this, only upside down. So, what I am doing down there, you have this pattern right here where the gears and the clutch are gonna sit and this uh the the what is it the bushing for the shift shift fork and um assembly so what i was doing in there i just put a little tiny bit of grease on this surface where your uh, thrust washer is gonna go this is kind of like a spacer it's tool steel these things are everything in here that i'm showing you right now it's it's uh, made by mercury they all have mercury part numbers and therefore they are very very durable um, <clears throat> I am lubricating it just as a you know you know when you put an engine back together how you use um, assembly oil well this is pretty much the same um, concept you, you want to have it lubricated for when the first time they it starts spinning and turning it's not dry um, all right, so this what I did lubricating the bearing in this little needle bearings in here the bearing race and the thrust bearing and washers um, Lubricating it just that's exactly the same thing. I did inside the transmission housing So this clutch is gonna sit like that once I finish everything That's why I lubricate it all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with these two gears like I said I already cleaned everything up there's no dust there's no nothing nothing dirty everything spins really really good nice and easy um, the tolerances on these things as you saw when I was taking it apart are very very tight you do not need a press but you need to wiggle it in there when it uh, when it's going in so let's go ahead and drop it in and there's a little trick when you drop this 
you when you drop him in you want to drop him in like this because if you drop this in first then you're not going to have room to do the, the the bearings to put the bearings in and if you drop the other one you don't want you, you same you will not have room so you want to drop them in at the same time like this in the transmission when you hear that you know it's all the way in okay now the clutch this part right here it's what's gonna it's what's gonna move your um, the lower unit the drive and that in there is connected by this link shaft right here that's how it, it connects in there so again let's go ahead and drop this in now this two you are going to drop them in together like this all right because you will not have room to um once you put this in you cannot put this in afterwards and again i'm just gonna put some grease make sure that everything is really lu good lubrication it's got really good lubrication You are probably thinking, why is there still green oil in there? Well, I was telling you guys in the previous videos, this is one of our customers' um, motors and there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. So the reason why I took it apart is to make these videos. Good. You have to probably you're gonna have to spin it a couple of times to make sure that it drops in. And that's it. It's in. All right. Now I am taking. I'm gonna take this old seal because we're not gonna use it. We're gonna be using new seals for him. Old seal goes out. And that seal, I'm gonna put it back on the the new one i have a new one here um i'm gonna replace it with a brand new and i'm gonna put it back on after i have dropped this um gear plate on i have another little tiny seal right here Those are the two seals that if you are doing this, they are not very expensive seals. So if you're doing this, just go ahead and replace them. Make sure that before you do all this, you have all the parts, all the seals and everything that you need. So you don't have to be waiting for parts to come in or um, because you didn't want to do something or spend a few dollars to replace it fully, you know, I mean, now on this particular engine motor this guy <clears throat> David he still had the the long tube it was a vent it was a brass tube that it was a vent I am actually that's why it has all this grease and everything just bubble up a few a little bit of oil grease and whatever so we are replacing it with this bellows that's the the uh, what you want to replace it and if you still have that tube do yourself a favor and call 
Travis a backwater performance. So I'm gonna be replacing that uh, bent uh, breather tube with this bellows and it goes right in there. So call Travis, order that thing, order uh, new seals and do it right the first time. Okay, so now that I have done this, I'm gonna make this quick. I've done this thing about a thousand times only. So we are going to use, I mentioned this before, I like to use the black RTV, or the ultra black from Permatex. Why? Because it cleans really nice and it seals really nice. So uh, in, a, in a situation like this, when we have to remove it and um, open it up and whatnot, it is really, really easy to clean. There's, a, there's an O-ring right here that is not damaged. It's actually still in place. I don't know if you can see the, the O-ring is still in there, but I, I mean the, the O-ring seals really nice. I just like to make sure and not chance it and use a little bit of RTV and I use it obviously I don't expect I don't even have one of these guns at my house my garage but um, so I don't expect any of you guys to have one of these the manual cocky gun will do this is just a fancy one All right, here we go. We have eight screws right here. And the screws actually, I also use a little bit of uh, aviation sealant, Permatex. Um, there was another name that I used to I don't know, there is so many names for this thing. I just call it Permatex, I think actually that's the brand, but it's called Aviation Sealant. And just a tiny bit, just enough, so we don't make a mess, but it gets in the threads. And no, I am not OCD. I know what you guys are thinking. I know what Jeff is thinking. Look at this guy, he actually puts everything in order and he's getting so fancy. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in. I can show you guys there is a, <clears throat> I put grease in here already. Thrust bearing is greased. These are going to be greased and just a little bit in the bushing for the shift fork. All right. The reason why I'm being super careful with this is not because of the bearing or anything. It's just because I don't want to make a mess with that silicone but um it actually goes in pretty nice and easy something i forgot to mention um if you have a compressor just blow some air compressed air in this area make sure that there is i, I know it looks greasy but the actual surfaces where the the, the o-ring and the rtv is gonna go are pretty clean i used I like to use some rubbing alcohol to clean all that just to make sure that there is no no grease okay now that is all the way in I'm just gonna put the screws Let's 
something I like to do, but I don't do it on camera. I start, I actually, like I said, I have done this quite a few times. So I, uh, there's sometimes I, take the risk and I start this by, uh, not by hand, but I use my impact gun. I like living on the edge. Now, when you guys tighten these things, we have eight screws. Really, there is just a make them. I mean, you can the sequence. It's just normal, you know. Crisscross it. There is really not. Once you have put it on, there really is not. Um, I don't think it's possible for it to go down crooked because the bearings, these two bearings, three bearings, the rays, and this is gonna keep it straight. But just to be safe, you know, you can. Just apply this and do it right. <clears throat> by doing it uh, crisscrossed all right so there is that and uh, the torque on these things it's 255 inch pounds again everything all these specs torques tools everything is going to be listed below in the in the description so if you don't remember don't worry about it just go scroll down and look at the description um I'm gonna go ahead and put some silicone on the drive, the lower unit, the foot, whatever you want to call it. Gonna put some silicone on it and uh, show you guys how I put it all together. Now this is probably a two-man operation. I got the two of the head almost no silicone left okay so once I do that that's another part that I like to lubricate the wall this the edge a little bit and that is because it's gonna go just like the other parts, the tolerances on this are really, really tight. So you want it to slide nice and easy. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop it on. All right, so let's go ahead and put the, uh, I would say drop the drive in, but gonna actually lift it on. Alright, so like I was saying, probably if you feel comfortable, you can do it yourself, but you will most likely need it. two people. Um, I have done a, I've done this a couple of times, so I like to think that I am <clears throat> All right, so right here is when you spin the crank a little bit all right so it's on I did use so you put it on lift it on in place into place and uh, actually you cannot see on the but on this side I put a couple of nuts on this side 
and um, just to hold it in place. Once you've done that, I believe this is the hardest part of the whole reassembly process. Again, you have six nuts in this part, so do it just like a normal person would do. And I'm talking about the right sequence. You want to crisscross it. and the torque will be listed down again in the description but you want it, I believe it is 45 40 or 45 foot pounds but just double check down here in the description just to make sure And that's as hard as it gets. Okay, so I got little special tools right here that I'm gonna use just to put those new seals in place. The new seals, the shift linkage, I'm sorry, the shift rod and main seal, brand new. Do not hesitate, they are really cheap and you will not have an oily mess. All right, well, I guess that is the hard part but from now it is pretty much the reverse process just the same way you took it apart same way you put it back together put the handle on then after the handle you're gonna have your um, in neutral start protection switch coupler and all that stuff the, the coupler goes in here you know you drop it in put the cap and this the screw if you by if any way damaged or this is deformed in any way just go to the store and replace it you will have to go probably to a specialty store like fastenal or some other store like that because you're not going to find this at home depot or an out of bar store um, it is special or you can the easiest way for you to get this bolt is just call travis a backwater performance tell him hey i need the sport v the main bolt the allen head that's kind of sunk and he will know hopefully travis he will know what you're talking about and buy it from him just like the other things i would recommend you to have two in hand before you take all this apart um i will remind you again about the vent this is where the vent is gonna go i don't know if you can see it or not But this is how it should look after you're done. Thank you, and we will see you guys next time on the next service video.